Greetings! This is the French Horn Sidekick video for page 5, Can You Change the Pitch? So this is the Instrument Sidekick for French Horn, page 5, Can You Change the Pitch? Alright, so, up till now, you've learned how to hold a mouthpiece, how to get your lips ready, how to tighten up your embouchure on the sides, put your lips together and teeth separated, and to push the air with your stomach uh, from the center of the lips, trying to create a buzz by squeezing the embouchure and blowing at the same time. Okay. Now, hopefully you've been doing this for uh, a day or two, just walking around buzzing on the mouthpiece. This page is talking about how to change that pitch uh, from high sounds to low sounds, back to high sounds to low sounds. Okay. Because that's a lot how the pitch has changed on a French horn. So... There are three things you need to do for each of those uh, activities. Let's first start talking about uh, how to hit a high sound. Okay, the three things you have to do is first, you need to tighten that embouchure a little bit more. Okay, so what you're doing is you're tightening the embouchure, creating a, the, making the hole that's being buzzed through a little bit smaller. <laughs> Okay, you're squeezing just a little bit more on the embouchure, all right? Um, next, blowing faster uh, needs to happen, so you blow a little bit more from here. Uh, in the future, we'll talk about the difference between blowing faster and blowing uh, more volume uh, in, in your control. But for right now, faster air is what you're going for. So faster air, tighter embouchure, and then next you want to think of the letter E. And by that I mean kind of what you're doing with your lips, okay? So if I take my lips when they're together with, uh, and I'm blowing, and I switch between E to O, E, O, E. Okay, it's more of an E embouchure. So your lips are back just a little bit, rolled in just a little, all right? And you blow faster. So here's normal. Now I'm going to tighten my amateur, blow faster, and switch to an E. Here, that's higher, normal. Now higher. Okay. Um, so that's one uh, aspect of it, but then we got to go down. Now going down in sound means that we need to do all the opposite things, okay? But you got to be careful with this. So first, uh, you relax your embouchure. But when you relax your embouchure, but I mean you still got to have it tight enough. You're just relaxing to allow for a lightly bigger hole, okay? Don't relax it completely and allow your uh, cheeks to uh, puff out, okay? No, no puffy cheeks, okay? That won't sound lower. So you got to just relax here, all right? Then blowing slower air. Now also, uh, when you blow slower air, don't blow so slow that you're not getting a buzz. It does take some level of air pressure from your stomach to make that buzz happen. So less air doesn't mean not enough to make the buzz, okay? So relax the embouchure, not enough to puff out your cheeks. Slow down the air, but not enough that you lose the buzz. All right, and then you switch from that E embouchure to an O. E Ooh, e, ooh, okay. So here's a high sound. Now I'm gonna relax my embouchure, blow slower air, make an ooh. Now your goal here is to make the biggest difference you possibly can. Try and go from the highest sound tightening and making it fastest air and biggest E I'm sure you can to uh, as relaxed and, and as less air as you need to still be able to keep your cheeks in and, and make a sound and more of uh, as much of an ooh and see the biggest extreme you can make it all right that's your goal with this page and this is just like the last uh, couple pages I'm gonna want you to spend a day or two just walking around trying to be able to change the pitch okay now if you're trying and it's not happening chances are that means you're missing at least one of the three things you have to do okay so you have to tighten and relax or blow faster or slower or switch from an e to an ood or do an e uh one of those uh, three things might not be happening if you miss even one of them you're not really going to have the same effect 
So trying to do them all three at the same time is a bit of a trick. Um, and you need to train your body to do these three different muscle things at the same time. It sounds complex, but it's really not too bad. Uh, imagine uh, opening up a doorknob, okay? I'm sure right now at your age that you just, you know, turn the knob and pull, okay? But if you think about it, you're controlling all your fingers making them bend in multiple joints at the same time as you're turning. So you're turning this joint at the same time as you're pulling and you're doing all these different muscle things at the same time. And you're totally used to it and it seems easy now. But when you first learned to open a door, that was complex. And the same thing's going to be true with uh, trying to play this mouthpiece is it is uh, a complex set of uh, muscle changes, okay? So work on that and make sure you reread this if you forget, if you're not getting a different sound. Reread this and really look and see what it is that maybe you're missing. Uh, is it the E to the O? Is it the speed of air? Or is it uh, the tightness of your embouchure? All right. Good luck. Practice, practice, practice. You know, do it as much as you can all day long every, as you're doing just anything in the house. All right. And remember, there will be classes either through Zoom or in person uh, that where I will be able to help you if you're still having trouble. Okay. But keep trying. Don't give up too uh, quickly. Okay. Your embouchure is, is not used to this and it's going to take a little time maybe to uh, achieve success. So you have to have patience and just keep trying and the muscle strength will eventually occur. Okay. Good luck and may the force be with you. <laughs>